Hello everyone. I like to share a few trades on Nasdaq CFD that KF, our consistent trader, shared with us. Uh, he's shorting uh, this instrument uh, on 22 with two trades because what he sees as a structure is that this level uh, in here got rejected, and so the channel is 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 coming toward the downtrend uh, and if you look now this is structure here after breaking this is 30 minute chart this is five minute chart it's forming a channel of downtrend here so therefore this can be <clears throat> traded with the pullbacks and reach different targets so uh, so this therefore here is uh, is gonna look as a trend in a smaller five minute one minute charts and our students often now go to five minute and one minute chart to take advantage of trades here because there's usually enough money to next support which is this level and that's the area that uh, KF put the target here so he entered here and trailed it and now after entry here he's going let me show entry here move the stop loss here now and then has also position that is here so this wave is taken toward this target and now he's trailing this let me see his video okay he's, he moved his trail more to lock the profit and let me see now his next trades this is one of his trades that reached the target uh, so we don't see continuation of video here but you see the prices here the target here the entry here so this wave was taken with the smaller time frame within the uh, structural time frame this is a uh, hard to do for beginners because this is kind of advanced um, to advanced mode of trading to be able to trade this kind of highly volatile um, market that rejects very fast and comes back but the KF is advanced trader and is doing this consistently so let me scroll to the trades posted in our group this is I think one of the trades of for students and this one this one is second one and uh, in here he took this wave to around this this area and then uh, trail it now he sees this pullback and taking the second trade here now we really see completely the downtrend because before we didn't have this these anchor points in these areas now we see it so that one first one is kind of counter trend little bit more risk but better risk to reward and this one is set up the clearly and of, of course in the smaller time frame was set up the and you could see this channel so now again uh, he entered here he enters here and his initial stop loss no sorry he enters no yeah he entered here and now trail the stop loss here and is he's aiming for this target around 13 13 three nine seven so therefore all the uh, Algo's pass entry is good, risk to reward is good. Let's see his trade. Yeah. Okay, now I think this is the end of his clip, short clip. <clears throat> so let's see if it reached 3, 13, 397. Yes, so you, you see NASDAQ here. Uh, he took this downtrend 
constantly last few days. These are uh, five day charts, these are two hours chart. So he reached target already here around this level and the price even fall more. So he took two trades in this area. You see two hours chart here and then successfully manage it and trade it uh, with the big uh, large profit compared to the um, initial risk and also very high high win rate so his profit factor is very large so thank you Kev for sharing these trades with us and I hope these are useful for all of you to see application of PAT in trading uh, directive future contracts or their CFDs. Have a, have a wonderful day.